Hi, my name is Nur Nadia Bidi Muslim. In this assignment, we are integrating the keyword spotting algorithm based on speech recognition with CMC's neural network or SDM32 microcontroller. The main idea of the entire project is to be able to help people who are having difficulties in performing their everyday routines. People such as the blinds, people who are bad ridden, people who uses wheelchair and so on. The goal is to be able to create a platform where can help people with disabilities to perform their daily routines with a little less struggle. Our implementation on keyword spotting or STM32 microcontroller is based on this technical paper. These are the prerequisites of our assignment that uses the MEMS microphone and STM32 microcontroller. This is the overview of our whole system setup that includes the STM32 microcontroller, MEMS microphone, and LCD display. This is our system flowchart. The system is a real-time implementation. It is demonstrated by recording the keyword speak by a user on MEMS microphone. The microphone will be received the audio bit into audio buffer. The capacity of the audio buffer is checked and if the audio buffer received is full, then the system is proceed by fetching the audio buffer into keyword spotting algorithm with integration of CMC's neural network. The audio samples are identified and generated based on the keywords mentioned by a user. The outputs are then will be displayed on the serial logs in PuTTY and LCD. Okay, my name is Kelvin. So I will start explaining on how the mic will be recording the audio buffer to be fed into the KWS algorithm. So we are setting up the parameter with 16 bits data on 16 bit frame. Uh, by right, it should be 24 bits data on 32 bit frame rate, which is the suggested from the documentation. But for our algorithm, we try to maintain the stability. So we are using this data bit. So for the coding part, okay. So this is the part where the algorithm start to capture the audio buffer. And this is the part where the KMS start to perform its algorithm to detect the keyword. In the while loop, we are having a for loop to keep every data sample to fill into the data buffer. The LED indicator, will indicate us to start recording our keywords. So I will now build the process and debug. To make sure our data is actually flow into the audio buffer, first we press, we put a hot here. So we will start to run before starting the program. We can see that the data is actually no going in, shows zero value. So after we start the process, the audio buffer is actually filled up with value captured from the data in pointer. So all of these are the floating amplitude of the audio input. After the audio buffer is full, this audio buffer will be fetched into the KWS algorithm. Remove the hot, we can see some real-time testing. So when the system is silent, it will show silence. But when we say something, Stop, go, left, up, okay. Hi everyone, this is Charlene. So I'm going to briefly talk about the algorithm behind this KWS system. So basically the algorithm that we are implementing is the depth-wise separable convolutional neural network, or in short, you can call it DSCNN. So DSCNN is basically more efficient than the regular convolutional neural network CNN. So reason being, the DSCNN actually decomposes the regular 3D convolution into the 2D convolution and then followed by the 1D convolution. So it actually helps to reduce the required weights as well as the computation. So next I'm gonna go through the stages in this KWS system. So we start off with the input speech signal and then the speech features are then extracted by using the male frequency sexual coefficient called the MFCC. So this MFCC features are then fed into the DSCNN classifier and then output the probabilities of each output class. So how does this uh, DSCNN classifier actually work? So basically after we have the speech features extracted, the MFCC features are then fed into the, passed on to the regular convolution layer and then followed by the batch normalization and the rectified linear unit activation. 
And then this is then followed by a series of that wise separable convolution layer. So in this system, we are implementing four layers of uh, this that wise separable convolution. And each depth-wise uh, separable convolution layer actually consists of the depth-wise uh, convolution that apply the 2D filter and then followed by the batch normalization and the rectify linear unit activation and followed by the point-wise convolution which applies the 1D filter and then finally another layer of the batch normalization and the rectify linear unit activation. So after all these convolution layers, it is followed by the average pooling to actually reduce the number of activations. And then finally, we have the fully connected layer that actually generate the output of each output class. So next, uh, let me show you how this thing actually works. Up. Down. Stop. Go on off. Yes, no.